Hi, I'm Gracie Murphy, and this is your podcast, Testify. We are here every Thursday to testify to the things that God has done. Today, we're going to talk about a redemption story. But first, please uh, push the subscribe button below so you can get notifications of our messages every week and share this with somebody else. And if you like the message, then hit the like button. I want to talk to you about the mother who left her daughter to die at birth, connected to the placenta, face down in the dirt, naked, to die. That was the title that this woman had, the label that I had put on her, because she'd given birth on the top of a mountain and left the baby there. Somebody found the baby and uh, at about six hours old, and the baby was brought to us half dead at 12 hours old. Five years later, I receive a telephone call from the government agency from a lawyer who said that they were going to reunite the baby with her mother. And my first thought was, no way, this is the woman that left her baby to die. How could you do this? And, you know, I just was like, I was a wreck. And so I just put the music on, uh, uh, prophetic intercession music with no words, and just sat there with the Lord for about an hour. And finally, when my spirit calmed, I heard a whisper in my spirit that said, are you going to be a part of my redemption story or are you going to fight it? And then, you know, I'm sitting here thinking about the best interest of the child and what I think it is that how could a child be with a mother who left her to die? She doesn't know her. She's five years old. And so I sat there and the Lord just kept whispering harder. Are you going to be part of the redemption story or are you going to fight it? And that's when I began to realize that God was doing a miracle. And we worked with the government authorities, and we worked with the mother. We had her come every week for 10 weeks for four hours, two hours with, um, in parenting school, and two hours with the nanny and with her daughter to get to know her. Then we had a week, the 11th week, we brought the child to her house to visit. And then the 12th and 13th week, uh, she went for overnights. And then we had the meeting at Danaf, and they reunited the child with her mother. And it's been an amazing story. She comes back every month for a visit so that we can follow up and check on her. So I want to talk to you about redemption. Many times we look at a person and we think about the labels that are on that person. And our next Testify podcast is going to be about labels and identity. But maybe sometimes... Maybe a lot of times, God is actually working a redemption story. The person who's labeled as the drunk, the addict, the fat person, the no good person, all of these labels that we put on people. And in a situation like this with a child, maybe the best solution is to help the family heal and get back together. Many times, missionaries and others, we see a bad situation and we're caring for a child and we fall in love with that child, and then we're afraid of what might happen to that child if they go back home. But God is a God of redemption. Jesus died on the cross to redeem us, and he is working in the lives of many, many people for redemption, and sometimes we fight it. You know, in our minds, we have the mindset, well, I'm better than that person, or I have more than that person, and you know, I'm better than you, and those are egotistical, selfish thoughts. Our hearts need to be where God's heart is. We had another child, Christopher, whose mother ran away. She was um, pregnant by rape when she was younger and she ran away from the home. And she's working really hard. She's now married to a Christian man and has a baby. And she worked really, really hard and went through all the classes and the home visits. And he did too, her husband and we ministered to them and worked with them, and Christopher, as six years old, was reunited with his mother. You know, it might not be a perfect situation. It might be that, yes, maybe we can provide a better education or provide more food or maybe a better environment, but God is always working in the lives of people, and when they're working to redeem their lives, we need to be a part of it. We don't need to be fighting it. You know, it's not always going to be the perfect life. Life never is perfect for any of us. 
And we need to stop judging people. We need to stop fighting God's redemption stories. And we need to be looking at the broken and seeing how we can become a part of the solution, how God can use us to redeem the lives of others. So that's my message for today. Please share this with somebody. This message is probably going to help a lot of people uh, bring some insight into how God's redemptive story and God's redemptive work in the lives of the people around us and how we can be a part of it. So please share this. Please subscribe to our channel for re receiving notices for future uh, episodes that we have come out. And hit the like button. And remember that God loves you and he's redeeming you also. In all of the brokenness that is inside of you, daily he is redeeming you. That is the message. That is the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. Redemption and restoration. God bless.